Okay, now for the final word. Um, all right, here's what, what's going on. Um, first of all, let's talk about the grading. Um, and before we go into that, let me just uh, reiterate that um, uh, from for the rest of the semester, we will not meet on campus at all. Uh, Lone Star, along with the CDC, they have determined that that would not be in anyone's best interest. So um, there will be no face-to-face -face, uh, classes on the campus. Um, so everything that we're going to be doing is going to be done virtually. Uh, everything will be, all the deliverables will come through D2L, um, and uh, we are well able to do this. So again, let's take a look at the grading. Uh, now, these are uh, excerpts from the syllabus. Um, the syllabus on the left-hand side is the existing syllabus. The one on the right-hand side is revised. Um, the new syllabus will be uh, posted on Monday, but I just want to give you guys a heads up. Okay, so first, let's take a look at what is already in place. Uh, if you look on the left-hand side, you'll see there are five projects that are due at 30% of your grade. Uh, weekly quizzes are 40%, midterm exam 5%, final exam 10%, final project 10%. Uh, that, that's what is right now. Here's what it is going to become, and I think you guys are going to like this. Um, you're going to have three projects at 30%. Um, you're going to have your weekly quizzes the same, mid midterm exam the same, which you've already taken. The final exam and the final project, they're being replaced with the weekly exercises. So um, there will be no final exam. There will be no final project. Um, now, and here's the trade-off. This is also some more good news. There will only be one quiz every week, and there will be one exercise that will need to be completed every week. So in other words, at the start of the week, you will have a quiz that you will need to complete before the end, before the, um, before the following Sunday at, 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 at 11.30. You'll have an exercise that will begin at the beginning of the week, and you'll have until 11.30 on Sunday to submit. Now, here's the deal. Please, please, please don't wait until Sunday afternoon to start these projects and your exam. You have a whole week, and, you, and in reality, you can't go anywhere. So you might as well take advantage of it. Get it done early. Open it up. Take a look at it. Analyze it. Make sure you know what you're doing, and then execute. Um... Don't wait until the last minute because when it's the last minute, you're going to produce garbage and, you you know, you'll be graded. That what you submit at the last minute is what's going to be graded. So use you have a week to submit a quiz and a week to submit an exercise. So that's how we're going to handle the grading. Okay, next up, let's take a look at the actual schedule. Uh, again, on the left-hand side is what is in place right now, and on the right-hand side is what it will be replaced with. And as you can see, the, uh, the, your, act, your tasks you know, actually appear to be lighter. All right, So let's analyze. Um, basically, what's happening is on the right-hand side, we'll, we'll look at the right-hand side because that's where we need to be. We're going to try to keep this thing, we're going to try to really end this thing on time. Uh, so, of course, week 9 and week 10. Week 9 was the regular spring break. Week 10 is the extended spring break. So, on the 23rd is when we're starting up um, the class. So, um, all right, so you have, and that's week 11. So, you'll have quiz 15. And as you can see, that's, that, that's going to be, or it's going to need to be completed the following Sunday, uh, which will be the 29th at 1130. And you're going to have exercise 11, which is, which is also going to be, um, will have to be submitted uh, that Sunday evening as well. So most of what will be submitted will be in PDF files. There may be uh, one or two that will be uh, exported, um, um, you know, packaged, uh, the native files exported, but that will all be explained in the directions. But you can see it's one exercise, one quiz throughout the course of the the you know, each week, all right? So, um, you know, you have uh, exercise 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16, okay? So that's how we're going to handle this. And, of course, um, I'm keeping week 17 open uh, for extra credit if needed and all outstanding assignments due by the following by 510, May 10th. 
All right, so we can do this. All right, so let's say, for example, um, and I'm hoping nobody will need the extra credit, but I'm keeping that, that option open if in case somebody wants to close the gap um, with an extra credit assignment. So that's where we are with the schedule. Alrighty, I just wanted to uh, make a special appeal to to you guys. I just wanted to let you know that uh, these are some interesting times. Um, I know that uh, you know you're getting information. Uh, some information is coming from uh, you know administration, of course, that I'm giving you information. So I know it can be a little confusing, but this basically is the final word. Um, we're not going to be meeting face to face. Um, Everything that we do is going to happen virtually, um, but it's not something that you are unfamiliar with. So what you really want to make sure you do is make sure you check your emails at least once a day, because that's how I'm going to be able to communicate with you. That's number one. Number two, um, as, as I showed you guys, um, you're going to have uh, one quiz, one assignment. Um, and it's going to, you, you can take the whole week to do it. Please, please, please do not start on Sunday. Start early enough. You can't go anywhere. Start early enough. Understand what you need to do and then execute and get it done. Also, I'm going to encourage each and every single one of you guys to, if you have a challenge, if you maybe don't understand something, reach out to somebody. Uh, reach out to your neighbor, reach out to somebody. You should all be connected um, and ask, well, what does this mean and how would you solve that? Try your best to be proactive and try your best to um, to see if you can complete these assignments, um, you know, on your own with assistance from your peers. Uh, of course, if you need my help, just email me. I I typically respond inside of 12 hours. Um, but the main thing is, uh, I would really like to encourage you guys, each one help one. All right, so try your best to um, stay on top of this, get it done, um, and know for certainty that um, we can do this. We can finish strong. Uh, so I'm asking, I, I want to partner with you. I want you guys to really try your best to make it happen. All right? Okay. So, check your emails and uh, finish strong. Stay safe.